what's going on guys and welcome back to possibly the second to last episode of Ark the Center. We are here at the blue terminal and we are about to fight the boss. We're only going to do the gamma. Yeah, we need six of the seven artifacts, so one is pretty much just for show. So what we've got, we've got 20 or 19 Rexes and one Vectospinus, which I named Indovectus. The Vectospinus is just there for support. I know he's only there for, like, buffing Spinos and Berries, but I figured we'd just do that. So, I think I figured out why the boss is easy. Let's get into this. I think I know why everything's been so easy for me. Like, why everything's been doing tons of damage. My tanks are not wild. I think it's the difficulty setting. Arc Ascended introduced difficulty settings to these creatures. To the game, as well as I should say. And there's easy, hard, and medium. I think I have this difficulty on easy. I think that's why we um, were able to do this. Alright. I am riding the Indovectus right now. Alright, attack. Um, I said attack. Attack. Please attack. Don't just stand there. Alright, there we go. Yeah, look at that. We just milli walked the Megapithecus within a matter of seconds. Yeah, see, I think that's why. It's because it's on the easy difficulty. That's probably why. Alright. I guess we're just waiting for you then. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, see, we just milliwopped the bosses within a matter of seconds. That's that's crazy, dude. That is not fair at all. It really is. Uh, but at least we've done them. At least we've done them. That's... I guess that's alright, but at what cost? Yeah, since I have it on, like, easy difficulty, we were able to milliwop the boss with no problem. We got 40 element from that one. And from this one, we've got... 20. So all together, we've got 60 element. So yeah, this is the Rex army we use. Some of them are level 336, others are 340, others are 338. It just depends on what level they are. And we've got the Vectospinus as well. So, yeah, that that was way too easy. Way too easy. We just milliwopped them within a matter of seconds. Hell, I probably could have done this with one T-Rex. I could have done this with just the one. And it probably would have been a little more of a challenge. But, I don't know. Don't worry, this isn't the whole episode. We'll do something else. I'm thinking maybe we could tame that male Barsboldia. See what that's all about, using the female to knock it out. Yeah, we could do that. Because that was way too easy for my liking. Yeah, I checked my stats. It's They're normal. I think it's just the difficulty I have it on. I have it set to easy when I should have had it set to medium or hard. Luna, you did a great job. There's a lot of things I actually want to tame, you know? Since we have time, I figured we could go out and tame them. Maybe we might even find a Majungasaurus or a Sukumimus, and at least tame one, just to see how it is. But yeah, that, that was way too anticlimactic. I think it is the difficulty setting that I have. Maybe I'll try medium next time? And see how that goes for Aberration. Because, yeah, that that was way too easy. Yeah, that's why you see the Axeman and Syntax struggling to tame things. While I tame things like it's a breeze. Because of the difficulty setting, I guess. But, you know what? It doesn't matter. We did it. We defeated the center bosses. That's literally all that matters. So let's go ahead, head back to base... And we should be good to go. We'll probably freeze here because that's how the game is. No, no, we're fine. Okay, alright, cool, cool. 
All right. We're back at base. For the second to last episode. You know what? Let's just go all out with these tames. All right. The Rexes we can go ahead and put away. We'll sh see if we can tame that max level male... Or, sorry, not max level. 140 male Barsboldia. Uh, yeah, can we not attack things, Mr. Seagull? <sighs> Let me see what's attacking the base. Uh, can you piss off from my Gigantoraptor? Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, now what was I doing? Oh, ah, yeah, right. Making some mounts. Trophy mounts. We'll put them like, well, let's disable snapping, first of all. We'll put, I guess we'll put the brood mother. that's the flag. We'll put the brood mother here, and then we'll put the megapithecus here. Yeah, all right, that's how we decorate it. And then one of the flags, we could put, we could put this flag like over here. That's the Megapithecus flag, and then the brood mother we could probably put near the breeding pen. That's what we'll do. Alright. So that's that done. So now we've got leftover cementing paste and element, which I'm gonna go ahead and put away. Alright, Luna, I'm gonna need you to get out of that Vecta Spinus for me. Alright. I think we're ready go on an adventure here. Alright, let's take the bars Boldia out. Because we're going to need to shoot things from a cannon. I'll probably take the cannonballs and just uh, put them in my inventory. Everything else we can drop. I just want to test it out, see if it'll do anything. No, not capture denied, capture granted. That's what I thought. Alright, let's go bring Mufasa. Wake up, Mufasa. Night time's over. Sleepy time's over. Let's go ahead and put you on my shoulder. Alright, we got the bars Boldia. We should be ready to go. Alright, let's head over to the volcano. First, let's up the gamma so we can see. I'm gonna explore the jungle, see if I can find a Majungasaurus or something, because I'd love to tame one. Yeah, I just want to test out the cannon to see if it would knock out a, another Bars Boldia. It's a max level female. 28 points into health? That seems pretty good. Let's just go on a mass taming spree. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I will need to go back to the base to get darts so we can knock out the max level aloe. Because so I don't think we actually managed to tame an aloe. So yeah, since this is the second to last episode, and that boss was way too easy, there's a 135 bars bold, or Hanotis even. You know what, I might come back for you. That's a max level Bronto. Sure, why not? Those are Stegos. So yeah, I figured, since that boss was very easy, why not just go on a mass taming spree? This is just the second to last episode, so... Yeah, and then final episode, we'll go after that Leviathan dude. The Liviathan, the Alpha Liviathan. I heard that was super tough. Like, with a million health and whatever. But with the rates we have, we're on easy difficulty. We should be able to milliwop it, if we have enough creatures. Alright, we'll tame up this, or try to tame up this Bars Boldia. And if not, we'll go after that max level Aloe. And then just have it as like a trophy that we basically tamed it. Alrighty. Yep, there's the old trap. Levels as pyromane. Oh, that's a max level male. Actually? That kinda has really good health. 32 points into health is not bad. It only has 20 points into melee, but... Hmm. Well... We're on a mass taming spree, so we could probably tame whatever the hell we want. Alright, there's our guy. This 140 male Barsboldia. 
We might want to get a breeding pair so we can... All right, let me just take out this raptor real quick and the cardo. All right. Is this it? No, you're just a 20. Get out of here, you. We're only here for the 140. All right, you can go away. Luna, you did a great job getting us here. All right, this is where our female Barsboldia comes in. We need to get this guy directly on the head. This is just a test. I don't care if we get it or not. This is just a test. I just want to see if we can actually do it. Alright, I kind of need to get him when he's holding still. Alright, we can kind of move. It's good that we can move while we're in this stance. Alright, we only have five cannonballs. So we gotta make this count. Yeah, we can control the trajectory of the cannonball. We need to wait to get a direct headshot on this guy. That was a bad shot. Alright, exit that. That was a very bad shot. Luckily, we can clear away trees like it's nobody's business. We could try to lure it into the trap again, but I don't know if that'll work or not. All right, I need to get this guy to stop chasing me so I can shoot the cannonball again. That was a bad shot. Yeah, we killed it. Yeah, I, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible, otherwise we would have done it. Alright. You know what? Let's go after that, um, what's it called? That max level pyromane, because why not? And then we'll use the Nothosaurus for our pyromane adventure. Alright, we want to get the pyromane's attention, but not the Carno's. Because we could use the Carno to kill things with the pyromane. Alright. Is this it? Oh, that's a 20. That's just a random 20. You can go ahead and kill you. Oh, am I gonna one-shot that? I'm worried I might one-shot it. Alright, Carno, I kinda don't want you to pay attention to me. Pay no attention to the Nothosaurus walking around. Looking to lure... A py an unsuspecting pyromane to the water. Alright, now's our chance. I don't want to one-shot it. I Can we please pursue the pyromane? Oh, great. Now he's back in flames. Ouch. Okay, that was a 25 anyway. We just one-shotted it. That's what I was worried about. Okay, that... That was a 25 anyway. <sighs> Alright, well... That's what I was worried about. You know what? We'll come back with a much weaker tame. And then we'll go from there. Actually, you know what? We could use the Bars Boldia because I haven't leveled it up. As long as we don't use that stomp attack, we should be good. I can't shoot off the back. So what we may have to do... Alright, where's that max level pyromane? Oh yeah, you're right by the old trap, aren't you? Yeah, I think I see you. I don't think you'll attack a Bars Boldia outright. That's a 25 Bars Boldia. Okay, there's a lot more going on. Alright, Mr. T-Rex, I'd rather you not collect... Alright, I need to lure this guy to the water. And then I'll fight you. Alright, you lost interest. Oh, no you didn't. Oh, you're a different one. Ouch. I can't really see what your health is all about. Let's go ahead and kill some stuff. This is just a random 135. This isn't even the same one. Uh, 
will you stop turning in my direction so fast? And of course he's got a friend. Yeah, I thought I was taming the max level, but I'm actually taming a 135 for some reason. And I'm actually healing as we're doing this. Alright, we just tamed another Pyromane. Which is awesome. Alright. <laughs> Haven't done this in a while. Alright, you can go away. I'll check your stats when we get back. Alright, where's that max level pyroman? Are you it? Wait, no. You're it, right? Oh, God, there's like a few of them. 95. Okay, this is it. This is it. Alright. Alright. What we may have to do is get rid of this 95. Alright, come with me. Okay, get out the way so I can lure you into the water. You're kind of nice with the flame. Alright, there you are. Alright, you stay there, Barsboldia. Let's go fight stuff. What should we fight? Alright, Carno? Good start. Alright, please die, Carno. Please die! How are you not dead yet? Alright, we did it. Uh, we're almost tamed. We're almost tamed. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Where's that 135 Rex? Uh, okay, where where are all the creatures? Okay, there's there's I think that's the 135 Rex there. That's a 100. That's a different Rex. And... Boom. That's the max level Pyromane tamed. Alright. We managed to tame the max level Pyromane. It's another male. But that's fine. Barbs. Raptor, leave me alone. I'm trying to... Okay, get out from behind me. Please die. Pam. Alright. Alright, we're good to go. There's that T-Rex I was trying to look for earlier. We got a T-Rex on us. Let's do the end this nine. There we go. Alright, we should be good to go. Luckily, we had the bars boldia for the, the tank. All right, let's go ahead and uh, switch back to the Griffin. All right. So we've proven that I don't think it's possible to tame the Barsboldia with a Barsboldia. But we did confirm that it might be possible to tame a Pyromane. So we got a, a couple of other quick Pyromanes, which is good. I don't know if they'll be any good or not, but... We'll have to see. That max level might have really good health. Alright, and we're back at base. Let's check out the stats of our pyromanes and see if they're any good. They might be good, they might not be good. Who knows? But we'll have to see what happens here. Alright, let's land, and then we'll check our pyromane stats. The 150 is kind of like a cyan color, in a way. Alright, the bar's Boldia we can put back. Yeah, you were only meant to be, like, taming a high-level male, possibly. But, you know what, you're... I don't think it's possible. 
not the Saurus. You can go here, I guess, for now, until I know what to do with you. All right, let's check out the stats. So this is the 135. I think you did lose some taming effectiveness. So you got 27 points into health. That seems terrible. 35 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 28 points into weight and 40 points into melee. That seems good. And this is the max level, the one we've been looking for. 45 points into health, way better. 37 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 38 into weight and 30 into melee. Okay, so it seems like the 135 has better melee, but the 140 has better health. Or sorry, the max level. This is a max level. I kind of like this one. You are a beautiful color. And what broke? My hands broke. Wonderful. Uh, alright. Pyromane, are you... No, you're the RG. Oh, you're the, the one that I initially tamed. Okay. Let me put some more stuff away real quick. He seems to be more my style. I might even make an OC based on him and introduce him in my series at some point. Alright, even if we do launch forward into the water, it's fine. Yeah, this is a beautiful pyromane. I gotta admit, you're a male, right? You are a male. Okay, riding on the back of a blue pyromane. Ah, uh, game. 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 Thank you. Actually, you know what we could do? This could be a clickbaity thumbnail and just call it Mufasa has evolved. Yeah, that could be cool. There we go. Alright, 52 levels. Let's put some points into weight so we could get up to a thousand. Maybe two thousand stamina. Forty-two. Let's put twenty-one points into health. Maybe get that to a hundred thousand? You know what? Screw it. And then just put the rest into melee. Let's go. Right, we're doing way more damage now. We got one more level. Let's put that into melee. This could be our new pyromane. I mean, we won't be able to have him for very much longer, but he's there. I mean, I don't know if there's a way to carry him over into aberration. Because that'd be a lot easier. Hey, there's another one of those dragon things. That's only a level 15, though. And he's even kind of got that blue color. That looks nice. You know, I might carry him over to a, a series. Another series in the future. Maybe not Aberration, but definitely another series in the future. Alright, fully healed. Our new blue pyromane is fully healed. Looking cool, actually. I love the blue fire. Alright. I do feel like exploring. Let's, uh, let's bring the Trank darts and all the kibble in the world. I just want to go on a mass taming spree because we won't be able to do this any longer. We got an Ascendant Aloe Saddle, so if we wanted to, we could go after that max level Aloe. Let's go into the jungle. Let's go on a jungle adventure. If we find that Aloe, we will tame it. And if, if we find something else really cool that I'd like to tame, We'll tame it. Let's just explore the jungle, see what's going on here. Might as well just go all out with this episode. Alright. Alright, which one's the max level? 85, 95, and there's the max level. Alright, I don't want to kill the max level. I want to keep that alive, obviously. Let's knock out this alpha. Max level aloe, because why not? Alright, so let me just go ahead. A passive, just in case. How much kibble do you need? Just the one. I'll give you two, just in case. Alright, now that that aloe has basically been claimed, let's see what else we can find. That's the 15 giga. 
Should we take on YOLO, right? If we get injured, we'll just leave. If we lose, we'll just leave. He's slowly losing a lot of health. So this is good. We don't want him to heal. We don't want him to heal. Kill him before he kills that mammoth. We did it. We just killed a Giga. We killed a Giga with our newly powerful Pyromane. How awesome is that? Alright, do you have the heart? Uh, you might have the heart. Uh, can I ride you? Why can't I ride you? There we go, I was gonna say, why can't I ride you? Ah, alright, that was... That was too close for comfort. And the aloe has tamed up, it looks like. So let's go back, pick up the aloe, and then we'll test it out, see how good it is. And then that'll be the end of the episode. And then off camera, I'll get us a Factinous army ready to defeat the boss. The Leviathan boss, or Leviathan boss. And that'll be the final episode of this series. Who knows, maybe the Majungasaurus and Sukamimus might get aberrant variants in aberration. So we'll have to see what happens here. Hey. That's for chasing me earlier. There's our aloe. Came out at a max level. A 224. Alright, let's take it back home. We have an ascendant aloe saddle at home. I have seen one. So we'll check this guy out. And we'll see how good it is. It probably won't be good without two more members of the aloe pack. But it's all we got, so... Alright, you stay there. Actually, you know, you don't even need to stay there. You can go on my shoulder. There we go. Alright, let's look at our aloe. Let's see what kind of stats we have. 38 points into health, 32 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 32 into weight, and only 26 into melee. That seems terrible. We got a creature with terrible health earlier. I think it was a, uh, what was it, a pyromane? And now we've got an aloe with terrible with terrible melee. All right, we got the Allo saddle ready to go. Let's take this Allosaurus out for a spin and see what it's capable of. Probably not too much. I mean, it's got terrible melee. And it probably won't do that good without, you know, a pack. That's what Allos are pretty much known for. All right. Let's see what kind of damage we 818? That's not cool. 182. 272. Okay, I don't know what we're doing, but... It's fine, I guess. But yeah, we got an Allosaurus anyway, so I guess... We could just keep it. Say, like, we, we basically tamed one. Alright, Allosaurus, you can stay there. So we got an Allosaurus, we got two Pyromanes, and I believe we got, maybe, tried to get another Bars Boldia, but that didn't succeed. Alright, last but not least, let's hatch up some eggs one last time. 205, 189, 203, 203, 209, 209, 209, 199... 210, 203, and 213. Eh, nothing too crazy. Let's see. Dinosuchus. We need a 234. We've got 612, 18, 24, 30, 36, 41. We've got 41 Dinosuchus eggs. 
Let's see if we can get a 34. 234, even. Are right, we got a male? Let's see what this one was. This one was a melee. No, wait. No, this one was a weight. And this one, a weight. We got weight mutations on both of them. So we don't need those. Uh, what's this? Dino Ball Display. Huh, that wasn't there before. Vector Spinus, we got 32. 32 Vector Spinus, so we need a 217. 217. It's a female. I think that's a triple health mutation? Yeah, that looks like a triple health mutation. If only you were a male. 219. Hmm. I might keep you just to see what you look like. The rest of them we can kill. And finally, the Rexes. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 41. 41 Rexes, so we need a 250 or a 252 still. 250. Alright, we got one. It's a quintuple health mutation, and it's a female. We've already got enough of those. Alright, next episode will be the final episode, and we will be going after that Alpha Liviatin. See what that's all about. And we're going to see if we can defeat it. And with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It will really help out a ton. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next finale. Thanks for watching.